This is a simple wood cart for hauling long firewood. It's made from two large front bicycle wheels, some angle iron, some 2x4s bolted with carriage bolts, and it's all connected to the tractor by the 1.5 inch diameter EMT conduit that's 10 feet long. All holes in the angle iron were drilled with a metal bit, so there was no welding required. Now I flip the cart over so you can see the bottom of it to show you how the cart is framed with the angle iron and how the wheels are framed inside the angle iron. There is room in front and in the back, about an inch playroom. At least one of the holes for the wheel axle on one side is U-shaped. It's drilled open on the bottom all the way through so the wheel could be released and it could be taken off and repaired. Each framed wheel is connected with longer pieces to make it a sturdy box that frames the cart. The center pipe is connected to the cart with carriage bolts that are fastened in front and the back of the frame and crossbars. Those two carriage bolts go all the way through to the top. Every other carriage bolt also starts on top of the 2x4. To protect my 2x4 frame, I screwed in sacrificial 1x5 cedar boards here, 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 and here. For carrying small things, this cart also comes with a removable flatbed that is made from 1x5 cedar boards. The long pieces I screwed together with short pieces which fit inside the cart frame. And it goes on like this, which prevents this flatbed from moving around, it keeps it uh, in one place. I added two smaller pieces at each end to keep my flower pots or buckets or whatever it is from sliding off. I like exercise, so I have this handle for the cart to bring wood or whatever manually. And how this handle is made is with two pieces of 2x4s connected at the top with carriage bolts. And it has a hole for the EMT pipe reinforced with some metal plates so it could take all the twisting and turning and pressure. I'm going to hook it up to the cart now. The sharp carriage bolt ends are facing away from me. Now the hole for the handle was drilled on an angle, so the handle could lean forward. And as you could see when I'm moving, the metal plates keep the handle in place so it doesn't crack the 2x4. With a load that's high, that's spilling over to the sides, I could screw in four vertical pieces on each end to keep the whole pile in place. Now it's wood hauling time, but it's also the hunting season, so I need to accessorize with my signature hat. 